Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just um, make sure that every answer is displayed on a new line. And there's lots of different ways to add a new line character, which is just a basically a backslash and an N, which I think is the same as C++ syntax. So we could either just add it to here, so we can just say every time, whenever you write this, put a forward slash N and, you know, basically write a new line here it's just an escape escape n basically stands for so you know put a new line character in for me and then this bit where they say you got that correct and then after that we can put a new line character in so you know so everything will appear on a, a new line so that that's fine and that will work um, and the other thing I just wanted to mention was that this particular thing index of that's not implemented um, in um, IE8, so it's implemented in Internet Explorer 9. I mean, you can get it to work in IE8, but then you need a, a load of other code to basically um, use it, explain it right at the top of your functions. Um, and I, but I think it does, it, it works in Firefox and uh, Safari. Um, so the other, the other thing I just wanted to explain about that was that um, the way the way to view these arrays here is basically to think about them like you know exactly like you would uh try and get hold of a value in a in a grid so for example when when somebody is as going through question one here uh, question one has got a number of radio buttons so at the moment question one has got like three radio buttons associated with it so um, and depending on which one has been selected, uh, basic the in the index of function is saying that if um, uh, you're looking at question one, okay, if that's the thing that you're looking at, then let's just have a quick look at the syntax here. So if you're looking at question one, uh, so um, then go and get the index of question one. So that's what that is saying. So if we were going to get the index of question one, so question one, the index of question one. So let's just see the index of question one is zero. This is the index. Okay, so this is the index of question one. And it basically then just says, well, whatever number is it says in there, then... Um, use that number to find to get the answers okay so whatever number it says in there use that number to reference an answer and so the way that that basically looks is the index is zero so it then goes up to answers and it says all oh, right there's there's a zero so that's the answer i need so that's really how how that bit is working now um, again, with programming, there are lots of different ways of just trying to solve the, exactly the same problem. So you, didn't, you don't have to have a function which calls this function three times. You could just have the loop that this function is carrying out. You could have a for loop surrounding this inner for loop if you wanted. Uh, so there's, there's always loads of different ways of answering a programming question. And um, you might think that it's a, a lot of typing and, you know, syntax errors and all the rest of it. But the, the thing with programming and trying to figure out what the right way of solving it is, is the more sort of little tasks you do like this, the better you become. So it's quite a good idea to maybe, if you're doing it with year 10s, to look at um, the uh, way that you do it in uh, PowerPoint using VBA and then how you might do it, do it using JavaScript and the issues with browsers running scripts and things. Um, and also the important thing is that you need to have, um, you know, at least covered uh, fundamental concepts in programming as a module uh, before you start this and also uh, a, a unit of work on web development so that these um, tags and the attributes that you associate with the tags all kind of make sense and there's a lot of rich discussion to have around uh, just the development of HTML5 and CSS3 so we haven't looked at cascading style sheets at all actually but there we go so 
Um, so just last thing just remains to uh, renew this. So everything should appear on on the um, on a separate line now. So if I submit that, so I've got the first one wrong and. Oh, I've probably not put um, that as correct answer, and I've got the the second one as it should be written. But I think what I've done with question two in the HTML is I've probably put correct against the first one instead of correct against the second one. Um, so question two, yeah, exactly that. So that should say correct, and this should say wrong. Um, okay, that's the end of that that uh, particular topic.